Welcome once again to your novena of choice. We praise God for your faithfulness to this devotion to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Thank you for being part of our global praying community. Joining us is not St. John Vianney, but our very own Redemptorist from America. Father Anthony McCallick encourages all of us to remain in God's love because it will have a profound effect on the way we live. We have chosen a beautiful opening hymn, knowing that Jesus is always the Good Shepherd, for He leadeth me. Come, sing along. He leadeth me, O blessed thought, O heart with heavenly comfort brought. Whatever I do, Welcome once again to your Marian devotion. We are in this beautiful traditional church of St. Michael's here in Ipoh, and we are so blessed to bring this to you today. Let's begin always asking for the blessing of the Trinity. Let's bless ourselves together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear wonderful friends in Christ, as we pray this devotion, I ask you, to respond to all the prayers and intentions because we're always grateful to God for the wonderful blessings we have received from our Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us once more turn to her and ask her to pray with us and for us. These are the intentions for the week. 
International Day for the Preservation of the Ozone Layer is celebrated on September the 16th, designed by the United Nations General Assembly. Without the ozone layer, too much harmful UVB or ultraviolet B radiation would have reached the Earth's surface. This would have been bad news. Increased exposure to ultraviolet radiation can cause skin cancer, eye cataracts, and damaged crops, plants, and microorganisms, affecting ecosystems and food chains. Loving Father, recognizing the harm we have done to the world you entrusted to our care, we lift up our prayer for the safety of the, of the ozone layer, the shield you provided to protect life on earth. May we awaken to the irreversible damage we have already caused and may this awareness stir in us urgent action. Grant us the wisdom to make choices that heal rather than harm, the courage to speak for the voiceless earth and the strength to restore what we can, even in the face of great challenge. May we remember that our responsibility to this planet is sacred and that in caring for the earth, we honour you, the source of all life. For this we pray. Mother Mary, pray for us. This year, World Alzheimer's Month campaign will centre around the taglines Time to Act on Dementia, Time to Act on Alzheimer's. The Global Awareness Raising campaign focuses on attitudes towards dementia and seeks to redress stigma and discrimination which still exists around the condition while highlighting the positive steps being taken by organizations and governments globally to develop a more dimension-friendly society. Loving and merciful God, we lift up to you all those who suffer from Alzheimer's, those whose memories are fading, whose days are filled with confusion and whose hearts may feel the weight of isolation. Grant them peace amidst the uncertainty of fear, and let them feel your presence even when they feel lost. We pray for their caregivers, those who give so much of themselves in love and service, strengthen them in their moments of exhaustion, comfort them in their times of frustration, and bless them with patience, grace, and compassion. For this we pray. Mother Mary, pray for us. Let us commemorate the International Day of Peace so that we can strengthen the efforts for peace within and among all nations and peoples. Peace affects almost every aspect of our lives. This year the theme is Cultivating a Culture of Peace. This year also marks the 25th anniversary of the United Nations General Assembly's adoption of the Declaration and Program for Action on the Culture of Peace. Lord, make us vessels of your peace. Where there is anger, let us bring calm. Where there is hurt, let us bring healing. Where there is fear, let us bring courage. Where there is confusion, let us bring clarity. For in giving we find joy, in forgiving we find freedom, and in loving we discover your peace. For this we pray. Mother Mary, pray for us. Malaysia just celebrated Malaysia Day on the 16th of September. On that day, in 1963, the Malaysian Federation was formed by the merger of the Federation of Malaya, the state of Singapore, Sabah and Sarawak. Looking back in retrospect, we have never been more divided, corrupt and a racist nation. Malaysia is made up of so many ethnic groups and the earliest of all settlers are the natives also known as the Orang Asli. Politics and corruption have ruined our nation, infringing the rights of the various minority races. Heavenly Father, we lift up to you our beloved country, Malaysia, seeking your grace and guidance for our nation. In your boundless love, you created each of us in your image, irregardless of race, language and culture, 
Yet we have allowed division, discrimination and favoritism to take root among us. We pray for our government and leaders, that they may govern with integrity and fairness. Inspire them to protect the rights of every person, honouring their languages, traditions and cultures that make our nation rich and diverse. May they uphold justice and equality, working to ensure that all people are treated with dignity and respect, regardless of who they are or where they come from. We ask this through the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Help. Mother Mary, pray for us. Together we turn to our Heavenly Father and pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. It's time now to share with you the letters that you have written in. Dear Mother Mary, I thank you for the contemplative Redemptorist teens who came to our parish and shared about their contemplative order. I had no idea the Redemptorists have a sister order of nuns. It is so hard to understand how women can dedicate their whole life to Christ and prayer if not for the grace of God. The Redemptorist nuns seem to be so joyful like you, Mother, in saying yes to the call to follow Christ in this very radical way. Bless them with more vocations. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, Words cannot express how grateful we are for the Holy Father's visit to Southeast Asia. The welcome he received is more than anyone else we have ever seen. The welcome in Papua New Guinea, Timor-Leste and Indonesia was an eye-opener for me because Indonesia has the largest Muslim population in the world. The reception and welcome he received was beyond all expectations. Even Muslim leaders came out to greet him. This is never seen or will ever happen in my country, Malaysia. Please bless our Pope as he is truly a wonderful presence of the gospel values of love and forgiveness and reconciliation from your loving son. Dearest Mother Mary, please help us to find a good Catholic boy for my eldest daughter and help my son to manage his studies, trusting in your prayers from your loving daughter. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, I lift up my good friend who is reaching her final journey in life because of cancer. May she never lose faith in God's mercy and promise of everlasting life. I pray for her family and friends who are giving her strength and consolation in Perth, Australia. May her guardian angel be by her side when she has to endure pain and loneliness. Bless her husband and children so that they can come to terms when she is gone and make their closures from your loving child. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, Please be with my husband who struggles with sickness and is unable to accept any kind of medical assistance and help from anybody. Give him the guidance and the grace to age gracefully from your loving daughter. Dear Mother Mary, I lift up the abused children in some schools in Malaysia. May the perpetrators be brought to justice and may the young children find healing and comfort and may the religious leaders and teachers be held accountable. This has gone on for many years already and the authorities have been silent about this until the police carried out raids in these schools. Mother, please help these children overcome their trauma from your loving children. Dear Mother Mary, I pray for peace in the Ukraine and in Gaza. There are many more 
countries facing conflicts and deprived of democracy in the Middle East, Africa and Myanmar from your loving son. Dearest Mother Mary, please pray and protect me from people who want to destroy my life by taking away my ambitions and goals in life from your loving child. With all these petitions, we turn to the loving mother and pray the prayer of confidence. Mother of Perpetual Help, we come to you and place our trust in you. You are a mother of mercy. You are called by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then our refuge and our hope. Help us for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand to us poor sinners. We bless and thank God for giving us this confidence in you. In the past, we have so often sinned, but with your help, we can conquer, and you will help us if we pray to you. In all our temptations, may we always turn to you and say, Mary, help me. Let me never lose my God. Amen. Let us share with Mary her prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty words marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel his servant, remembering his mercy the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary, you are the mother of Christ. And you are our mother also. Heavenly Father, we thank you with all our heart for giving us Mary to be our mother. She is so loving, so thoughtful, so understanding and so kind. We thank you for her. Amen. Every Saturday we come to Mother Mary knowing how much she loves us and intercedes in our prayers. So let us once more come to the throne of grace. In our second reading for today's solemnity, St. John tells us, God is love, 
And the one who remains in love remains in God and God in them. If God is love and if we are created in the image and the likeness of God, then this means that we are created because of love in the image and the likeness of love. And we are created for the purpose of loving. If we choose to understand ourselves or God in any other way, we will never come to the truth of who we are or how we are called to live this journey of life. Jesus has come to us and has died for us on the wood of the cross. And that is enough to show us that God is love and that we are so deeply, so intimately loved by God. May we then love him in return. May we love God with everything that is in us. May we love God especially for all of those who do not love Him. May we come to Jesus as He asks us to. Come to me, Jesus says, all you who labor and are heavy burdened and I will give you rest. Might we all then come to him and rest our weary heads upon his loving breast. And may we do as he has commanded us to do. May we love God. May we love one another. And may we then bring God's love into this world. May God bless you all. Together in one faith, we turn to the Blessed Mother and pray the Memorare. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to you, Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows. Hear our prayers for the sick. Help them to unite themselves with your sufferings. And if it is your will, may they get better. Let them never forget that you care for them. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. 
given them bread from heaven. Let us pray, O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. We ask you to enable us so to worship the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may constantly feel in our lives the effects of your redemption. You live and reign forever and ever. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. We have to say, goodbye once again it's wonderful that you are faithful to this devotion because any devotion requires a commitment and a dedication so during the week you can always turn back when you feel you need to pray this devotion you can even repeat it it's not a problem we end this beautiful devotion and please join in the hymns see you once again next week goodbye the mustard seed parable highlights the idea that something seemingly insignificant can carry immense significance. What more a tiny spark to start a fire glowing. We are the light of the world that can drive away the darkness, so let us pass it on. So until we meet again next week, pass it on.
Like spring, you want to have.